Chicago, back home. You need your readers? No, I don't need no readers, man. We all good to go with all that, see your name. My boy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Love the family. You know everything about Chicago is my home, man. We got a lot of unfinished business. I'm so happy, so thankful, and uh, I'm ready to do this thing, man. Let's go. Chicago. Well, first off, the storylines that are out there right now about me is on both something that wasn't said completely verbally to the media. It was something that is behind closed doors that a bunch of narratives can get spun around and said, you know, about me and things and stories will be, you know, portrayed. Um, and that's part of the business. You know, I think that's what comes with it. Am I still a part of this team and, and very committed? Yeah, I got a Bulls jersey on, I committed here. And for as long as I'll be here, I'll still support and love Chicago and go out there and play my heart out for those guys. That's, that's never gonna change. What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good today as I'm feeling pretty good myself. But I want to dive into my man Zach Levine. And there has been rumors, especially reported by, you know, a few of the sources in the Chicago Bulls area that Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls, you know, their relationship is tarnished. Their relationship is unrepairable. You know, it's a lot of things they can't bounce back from basically and in saying that you know it's just all bad for zach levine because it's kind of like they have a toxic relationship it's like the bulls are trying to move on from zach levine i'm pretty sure zach levine is open to moving on from the bulls but it's like they can't get a deal done and they've been trying possibly since last year a lot of things went wrong and trying to get a deal done zach levine got hurt you know different signings and different things happen like that the bulls didn't finish out with a good record that kind of hurt zach levine's value and so yeah they have a toxic relationship and you know in a lot of toxic relationships the couple usually after all the mess and stuff they've been through they end up getting back together and having to deal with each other again and that may be the case for zach levine and the bulls and so what did they mean by this report of them having a destroyed relationship and that it's no trust on either side and so basically from what i hear it was rumors saying that back when zach levine opted to go into season and his surgery they didn't think they were going to get dealt they didn't think they were going to try to get you know traded to the who was that the pistons it was reports of zach getting traded to you know a lot of them didn't think that and didn't want that but when the bulls opted to do those type of things that kind of you know put a bad taste in zach levine and his camp's mouth and so now you know it's kind of like well you guys are willing to do whatever as we thought we were on the same page and you know the bulls they the bulls is an organization so yeah they can make promises to you but it's not like you're lebron james you know they're gonna do what they can for the betterment of the team a la look what's going on with DeRozan. And so, yeah, it's just been a lot going on. I mean, you take it way back to, you know, when AK Mark Eversley came, Zach Levine was already here. You know, he dealt with the guard packs air. And so, you know, Zach Levine, he put a lot on the line. You know, he put his body on the line, which opted to give him a, a pretty max contract at the time. And so that contract didn't age well because with him signing that contract, that means you have to be that max player. Well, Zach Levine, he never really been that max player for the Bulls. You know, he's had a couple of good seasons, you know, all-star season. But it's like it just never panned out as to him being a max type of guy. And the Bulls never really made it, you know, deep into the playoffs. They won one game in the playoffs since, you know, that whole time. And it's just been tough. It's been tough for both sides, you know. It, I wish things could have gotten better. I wish Zach Levine could have had a better relationship with the Bulls. I wish the Bulls could have been more successful. But, yeah, even if Zach Levine comes back to the Bulls, I just don't feel like, you know, both sides are going to be on one accord. You know, it was reports and rumors saying Zach Levine and Billy had a few disagreements last season. And so what could happen? Will Zach Levine return to the Bulls? lead to you know some drama for the bulls will it be a distraction for the team will it deter the direction of a lot of the young players comment down below and let me know but yeah you know it's a tough situation for the bulls hopefully you know the bulls can possibly find a good trade for zach levine i know still teams like the kings out there that's willing to do a deal maybe the warriors could spin the block and you know come up with something 
but yeah you know they have a toxic relationship and hopefully you know they can come together and figure something out before the off season is over with. so I'm going to holler at you guys later. Definitely like this video if you're a true Bulls fan. Subscribe to my page. I'm going to keep you guys updated with what's going on. And I'm going to holler at you guys later. I'm out.